everybody. Before we get started, I just wanted to put a bit of a message out there for white belts and blue belts that might be watching this. I remember when I was first starting to learn Ferro Bolo, when it was just starting to get popular. And I was around a blue belt at that time, and it was hitting the competition scene hard. Uh, a, a lot of people were wondering how to do this. They wanted to learn how to do this. And I remember finding some videos that were kind of hard to find at the time about how to do this and being completely baffled. It really felt like it was hard to learn. I've uh, broken down how to do this Barabolo into three, what I would consider easy steps. Hopefully you don't find yourself overwhelmed with the idea of learning Barabolo. I think that using this method, you'll be able to learn it without any issues. Without any more ado, this is how we do our Barabolo in a three-step method. Hi everybody, it's Drew with Because Jitsu. We're going to be going over a barren bolo today, and we're going to break it down so that it's easily digestible for people who haven't used it before. I know it's a bit of a uh, scary topic to learn. It's uh, somewhat controversial. A lot of people frown on it because it's super fancy. Uh, other people use it to great effect in competition. You should at least understand how it works, if, even if you don't use it, so that you have the idea in your head of what not to do, why it works, how to break it down, and we can go through those in another video. But for today, we're going to show you how to do a barrel bowl in three different steps. Okay, so we'll break this down so that you can sort of study each individual step instead of trying to think of it all as one move, which it is, but there's a lot of details along the way that can sort of boggle your mind and, and you get overloaded with information. So uh, take this at your own pace. You can stop and rewind. You can practice this in a three-step method when you're when you're training and drilling. Uh, and hopefully, it can get to a point where it's fluid and you can pull it off in one spinning move. So the Baron Bolo starts from Delhi Hibagard. Uh, and a Delahiba is going to have the outside to inside hook, hooking on the inner thigh, this leg checking the far leg, keeping range, this arm holding the heel. And now this is the interesting arm here because we have options with this arm. Oftentimes people will grab the sleeve here, there's lots you can do with that. We have other videos detailing a few moves if you want to check them out. Uh, you can grab the collar up here to break your posture, pull them onto you, you can do aerial sweeps from there, there's all sorts of options. This time though, we're going to grab the belt because we want to keep tight control over his hips during almost the entire move of the barrel bowl. So I'm going to reach up and grab his belt right here. This keeps his hips tight to my hips. But what it also does is it pulls him forward in a way that makes my Delahiva hook a little bit weak. It doesn't have that strength because I'm pulling here and this is losing tension as I pull him towards me. So what I'm going to do to start off to put a little more strength into this hook before we start our sweep is I'm going to take my check leg here and put it to the ground and shrimp out a little bit. Now you can feel that I've got some tension back on this Delahiva leg. That's good. We're going to use that. We'll take this off the ground now, this check leg, and we're going to put it on his hips, toes first. We're going to sort of pierce into his belly just above his hips here. And our objective is to pull him towards us while we extend this straight. But we want to knock him down to the ground so his butt lands close to us, like this. So that's step one. You can go over that again, uh, we'll rehash it a little bit later. For step two, we're going to start with our legs. Okay, we're going to switch what our legs are doing at this point. I've still got the Delahiva hook on this one, and this one's still piercing into the hips, right here on the same side of the toes. We're going to switch this one that's on his hip to shin across the belly and hooking his body with our instep, and this Delahiva one is going to switch down to toes on the ground, okay? So I'm going to put these toes on the ground, shin across the belly. So it'll look like this. We've got the belt still, we've got the heel still. Don't lose those grips. We're going to switch our legs to here. Once we get here, the toes on the ground is going to allow us to push, which adds some speed and flexibility to essentially invert over top of our shoulder. We want to tuck our head tight underneath, just like we're doing a shoulder roll, and end up here.
All right, so we've inverted now. Uh, we've still got this leg across the belly, hooking across his body. And this leg now is free, and we need to do something with it. We're going to send it across to the other leg, hooking with our foot right here on the outside of his thigh or quad. And now this grip, for the first time, we're going to switch our hand grip. This grip is going to come underneath the knee right here. And that's step two right there. The inversion after the foot switch, and then we're going to lace this leg and hook it right here. So step number three, now that we've got here, is we're going to use these two grips, the one you can't see back here on the belt, as well as this one that we hooked up on the knee, to pull him into our body, where we extend our legs straight, which pivots him in front of us. So, now that we've come, we've pivoted his body, I want to make sure that my legs are in position before I worry about going up on towards his back. We can see his back now, but we aren't close enough to take it yet. We need to maintain our control and get the proper control structures in place before we continue. So that's going to involve getting this leg here up, basically into a crab ride position, shooting against the back of his knee, and this one up here, acting as our first hook. Once we've got that, I want to pinch my knees together, which are going to lock his hips in place. So he can't turn towards me now. If Alvin tries to turn towards me, he can only move his upper body, which is great. I'm going to keep his hips facing away from me, so that now I just have to worry about getting onto his back from here. I can let go, now that I've got this pinch on his heel, and he's, well, a lot of times when someone tries to defend here, they're going to try to straight arm me with this arm and push me away so I can't get up. So I need to get a sleeve grip here and pull away, which is actually going to help turn his back at the same time. So when we turn him this way, I'm going to take my belt grab hand, let go. You can grab the collar right behind his neck, or if your arms are long enough or you're high enough, you can reach around here. Let's just start with the collar for now. Now we've got these two grips. I'm going to extend my legs again, pulling him here. This hook stays in. This comes to a seat belt. I wrap this here. All right. I like to also roll him so I can position his spine in line with mine here. And that's step three. So, to break these down again into the separate steps, starting with De La Hiva, we grab the belt. For step one, we're going to change our angle, put those toes in, piercing on the belly, pull, and straighten them out, and up here. For step two, we switch our feet. Invert, weave, and catch. For step three, we're going to pull them in, straighten our legs, crab ride, hook, pitch. We're going to make sure that this arm is in play. Reach up, pull, and finish on the back. Do that from another angle. So step one. Step two, step three, so hopefully that helps break down what the bear ball is, as well as a method to go along and find your way from there. It's, it's a very strange way to get to the back. Most back takes will end up going laterally around the torso, you get arm drags where you spin around their body. This one actually goes the other way, we're, we're going in this direction around the body, not this direction. So we're going under the legs and around the back. It's a long way around, but if you keep your control points in place and you practice this, you can make it all into one move. And it's very frustrating to stop when you're being bare bold. So hopefully I have good luck with this. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys say. Uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.